Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today, and today's video will be about the Classical Age, so I just finished upgrading, and let's see what we're gonna get. We're gonna get a new, another barrack, stables for the cavalry units, um, we're gonna get a new garrison, we have a chance to buy a house, more roads, more walls, we get a new wonder, and let's see, we also get War Academy, so we can build war tactics, library to research more things, and ballista tower to take on those horsemen that get really annoying after a while. And so they're good, like when you're fighting, but then when you're fighting against them, like especially at the lower levels, it's like it's quite annoying because it's just like man, they're doing so much damage and you can't kill them unless you have a ballista tower. Okay, so woo. Okay, we're to the classical age now. So we got things look a little bit different now. The art you can tell is a little bit different, and we get all those fireworks. It's pretty cool. Um, might as well just kill this bear real quick while we see some other stuff. So let's see what we can um, do f first. So first we can get a wonder. Um, before I actually got the Notre Dame uh, in my main account, my other secondary account I got the Colosseum, which is I think is the best personally. Some people like getting the uh, Forbidden City just to kind of make it harder for them to like, you know, five star you, because then they have to destroy the town center and your Forbidden City. But, but I mean, if they if they're gonna five star you anyways, they're gonna probably take out both. So I don't know. And the Terracotta Army, I don't know. I always thought this might be decent, because then like, you get you get a, a Terracotta Army, so it's like I think it's like ten troops, and so I don't know if that's really useful but I mean it looks decent but the Colosseum I think is probably the best um, I used the Notre Dame before it doesn't reduce um, your upgrades you like unit upgrades that much and technologies that like much either. they don't really decrease it that much I don't think personally um, so I, I chose the Colosseum last time but let's first let's get a new barracks while I'm talking still uh, okay I need a little bit more wait oh Ah, oh, cow traps. Okay, let me move those out of the way. Let me start working this new barracks, so... Definitely... First thing you do, buy new barracks. Definitely do that. Um, second, you gotta upgrade your blacksmith. Definitely, you gotta do that. It's gonna take eight hours, so... Okay, it's pretty good. I thought it was gonna take longer, to be honest. So I'm gonna start working on that. Um, next... Let's see. I can build a lot of new things actually, but I mean, let me let me stop the blacksmith real quick, and let me start building up like another farm, another uh, and another um, caravan. And so while I'm talking, uh, hopefully I can get it all done. But anyways, definitely upgrade the blacksmith first. Uh, I'll do it afterwards because. It's probably gonna take too long, but anyways, definitely upgrades blacksmith first. Always, always, always do that. Just that's my recommendation. Next, you you need 300,000 food so you can upgrade your barracks, right? But you can't do it. So what you're gonna need to do is definitely upgrade your mills next, and that's gonna take six hours. So I'm probably gonna do that afterwards after I finish these, like another barracks and my farm and my caravan. So that's my next. Uh, that's all I would suggest to do next upgrade your mills next so then you can at least get enough so you can upgrade your barracks because yes yeah, so you can't even if you try to use crowns you actually have to have enough maximum first so that would be my suggestion um, also for the classical age yeah so we're gonna get a lot of new things lots and lots of new things so there's gonna be a lot of stuff to upgrade um, I'm still leaning towards getting the Colosseum because I don't know the gladiator power plus you know you get defender troops which are pretty helpful in the long run. Um, let's see, what else do I need to do? So, I think for the classical age, that's what you gotta do first. You gotta upgrade your blacksmith barracks, mills. Um, and then after that, you can just work in the new things. So, War Academy, they definitely come with good tactics. You'll see them later. I'll show you guys later on. You know, tactics like sabotage, which kind of like stuns a group of defensive buildings. Or you can get the the first aid kit, which is just healing, and later on you can get the protect, which is really good actually, because it reduces your damage by half. 
And I think that's going to be really about it for this. Because there's not... There's not too much more I can really show you guys. Because it's just started, you know. So um, I can't wait to upgrade my troops, though. Because it'll be helpful for taking on the classical age um, multiplayer battles. Let's kind of see. Let's go look through. And let's see. So this is the Ruin the Nile. And so I think... We can might as well do this, you know. Um, I'm also show off some of the ruling the Nile, so we're gonna go with this one first on the right side. Uh, I didn't catch the name. Um, oh damn, my video is lagging. I didn't I didn't notice. Uh, let me end. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back because I didn't know my video is lagging the whole time. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I didn't know that it was lagging on the uh, on my monitor. So, anyways, the the caravan and the the farm finished. So, I upgraded the barrack. The next one is 30 minutes, and the blacksmith's eight hours now. So, um, I'll definitely be making another video about new troops and stuff like that after I research them. So, in the meantime, what I want to show you guys is ruling the Nile. So this is what I was talking about before you can actually not see it. So, let's try to do this, Abu. I wonder if I can beat all of them now? I don't know, we'll see. Probably not, but might as well give it a shot. Okay, so... Let's see, there's four towers, there's a couple garrisons in the middle. So, I think the best approach... I don't know, it shouldn't be too hard anyways, but... Might as well attack from this side. Send all your horsemen first, let them take the damage and, you know, deal the damage. And then your bowmen and your vandals can come after and they can do the rest of the damage. I don't know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, this is Bronze Age, so it's not going to be too hard. As long as, you know, the horsemen do the work, the vandals, you know, just destroy everything, then we should all be good. Okay, so I'm gonna use my rally so I can take out this tower so I, I don't want to lose any more vandals. Okay, I think I lost two vandals so far. That's okay. And, yep. I don't know, there's not much to the strategy since you know it's not higher level stuff, so. Actually, I might save this, the rest of this um, campaign mode for another video, actually. So let's go onto the map and let's fight, you know, let's just fight a normal player. Let me just, uh, let's see. Did I lose? Oh yeah, I gained more, I forgot I had more spots now. I forgot I have more troop space now because I upgraded my barracks. It's lagging on my phone too, so that's not just you guys. Or my iPod touch. Ah man, I have trouble hitting it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna let these troops train up and we're gonna fight some multiplayer battles. Okay guys, so we're back with the, all the troops now and let's get going. Uh, let's take, get rid of that peace treaty. Okay, so... I don't know, hopefully my rally is faster in this... Um, this age now. I'm not sure though. I do like the unique rally icon for Germans. It's pretty cool. Uh, these are all Iron Age. I want to try to fight a classical age also or medieval age. Kind of show off some better ones. Anyways, guys, I forgot to tell you before I went in. I did get a armor blessing and weapon blessing. Just so, just in case we got some harder opponents. So let's see. This guy, he's a medieval age, level 45. Um. Good. I don't think he has a ballista tower actually, so that should be easy, easy money. I think. Let's see. And then I'm gonna send out my bowmen also to protect them. And I guess I don't know. I might as well just use my mercenaries because I just I recruited them whenever I got them out from the forest, so I might as well use them now. Okay, guys, it's going well. I know. It, again, it's because he not, doesn't have any walls, but still, I, I still, I'll, I'll take it as a win, you know. 
because it's still medieval age, so that means he still has high level, like higher level stuff. So man, I did get a lot of. Oh man, I wish my uh, my bills were upgraded. That's so much food. That's dang. That's I maxed out on everything now, so that, that kind of sucks. Cause this is a good raid, cause I got a lot of lot of stuff. Okay. I don't know, there wasn't too much to the strategy except make sure there wasn't any ballista towers and just take out the towers as soon as possible. Yeah, there wasn't much to this raid. I didn't. I, I don't even think I need to use the mercenaries to be honest, but eh, might as well just use them. This would have been a good raid if I didn't, I wasn't ma near max on resources though. Like, uh, let's see. So, it's gonna be definite 5 star. I don't know. I don't know why this guy doesn't have any walls, though. I guess he decided not to build any yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's five vandals. That troop, um, I mean, that loot, that loot's really good. Just f especially for this age. Like, because that'll help you build a lot of stuff at 200k. Yeah, so I'm kind of maxed out right now. Um, let me just build up my vandals again, real quick. And I'll be right back. And so then we, we'll get into one more raid. Okay guys, so we're back and let's do another raid. Um, yeah, let's, let's hopefully we get a little bit more difficult, like, raid, but I mean, it was a medieval base, it just didn't have any walls, so it's kind of like, I guess he stopped playing most of that, he or she stopped playing. Let's see, these are all Iron Ages. I guess I need more uh, medals to, like, fight some harder opponents. Okay, so this is a medieval age. Uh, let's, let's go with this one. So I did get a armor blessing. Um, let's see, where's the best place to attack? I think the best place to attack is at the bottom where the stable and the, there's two towers over here because the ballista tower is going to be the biggest problem. So what we're going to do is going to take out these. Yeah, I want to take out this these stables, the stable and the the tower as soon as possible. Okay, so I don't want to put my, my bowmen and my things too early because I know the catapult's going to attack them because they're within range, so I might as well use my bowmen and hopefully they'll protect my horsemen. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, now I'm going to send all my va my vandals in and hopefully let me all rally to the ballista tower real quick. Oh, didn't mean to try to pull that down. Okay, hopefully this will take out the Ballista Tower as soon as possible and the Catapult because they're right next to each other, so... They won't, hopefully it won't take out a ton of my uh, Vandals. Good thing I had the Armor Blessing because... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is bad. I don't think I have any Bowmen left. Uh, uh, that was a bad strategy. I don't... I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I should have... Ah, uh, I know I should have done. Oh, another flub, guys. Sorry, guys. I... I definitely should have taken out the garrisons. Or don't wait in. Uh, I should attack from like this top side over here where the, that garrison I just destroyed, because there was a there was a tr there there was a lot of troops coming out. And that's what destroyed me because I didn't have enough bowmen to destroy all the uh, attacking opposing troops. So uh, that was my demise actually. So. I think I, sh I could have won this one, but I should have took a better approach at it, though. I should have done maybe slow and steady. I should have attacked maybe from the other side where the other catapult is. That's okay. Um, I guess I'll learn from that because I still make mistakes still, so it all happens. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you guys next time.